you know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Come here. I came to see you. I am sorry, I... I didn't personally come to ask you to marry my son. You know, marriage is not something you do on a whim. It's not a decision you take out of the blues. I actually got married when I was about your age. Yes, my parents literally pushed me to marry my husband. At the long run, it was worth it. Because my husband turned out to be the love of my life. My child. You get him married into my family. That afford you a change of life. A better life. You can go to school if you want. Yes. Marriage will afford you the opportunity to escape this life you live today. Don't you want it? I want to go to school, ma. It is one step at a time. Once you get married, you talk to your husband, he will listen. Your auntie wanted me to talk to you. Yet while talking to you, I will not leave out the truth. You are not living a happy life. You are not happy here. I see it every time I come here. Are you not tired? Kambili, imagine you getting married and having staff answer to you. Everybody is at your beck and call. You have the best of dress. Wear it when you want to wear it. Have your accessories. Dress the way you want and have a husband that does on you. That is amazing. An adorable husband. That is every woman's dream. Kambili, marry my son has a clause. Marry him for two years. You can leave if you want. And trust me, you'll be well compensated. Just two years? No, you can make it a lifetime. The ball is on your court. It's all in your hands. If you want it for a lifetime, no problem. Your change of life begins as quickly as you made the right decision today. Did my auntie sell me to you? What? No. Can't believe you're a good girl. And I believe you make a good wife. I relayed my desires to her. And that is why we are here now. But this your son we are talking about, I've not seen him. I don't even know what he looks like. We are not even sure if he would like me. But you have seen me. I am my son's representative. Yes, Max is a very busy man. But trust me, he'll make it up to you. Okay? Is Max his name? Yes. Max is his name. You know, marriages are contracted today in the absence of the groom. But in this case, he is not here now. He will be present on the wedding day. All right. Ma. All right, I accept. Is that a yes? Yes, it is a yes to everything. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kambili. You will not regret it. Trust me. Thank you for clarifying my doubt. I'm glad my auntie didn't sell me to you. No, yes, she didn't. Let me get Can you. Can I get a hug? <laughs> You're so beautiful. Ma. And you too, darling. You're welcome. How are you today? I'm fine. You must be excited. Tomorrow is your wedding. 
So tomorrow you're going to be a married woman. It's not just an ordinary married woman, a rich married woman because you're getting married to a handsome rich guy. I'm jealous. Thank you. Okay. Quick one. And now say you should sign this. Yes. It, there's no need to read it. It's just paper. Just sign. Sign. Uh, we need to commit it to the court before the wedding tomorrow. So just sign. Put date. Put the date. Mm -hmm. More like it. Oh, good. See, you need to rest. Hmm? I'll go and rest too. So that will look fresh. You have to rest very well because you're going to take pictures tomorrow and I want you to be looking all beautiful. Rest, huh? Thank you, Auntie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, welcome to my humble abode. Your house is beautiful, my husband. Thank you very much. Thank you. It actually cost me a fortune to build this one. Evidently. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's quite a hectic day, and I'm famished. Can you please go inside and make me something to eat? Uh, I prefer pound and yam. Did my mom tell you that's my favorite? Your aunt said you are good at it. Yes. Ah, good. Go make me some pound and yam. I was thinking if you could put, probably eat the food your mother gave us so we can rest after a hectic day tomorrow. Are you questioning me? No, I was just making a harmless suggestion. I didn't mean to upset you, I'm sorry. Are you alright? I'm asking you, are you alright? I guess you're not. Listen to me. This is my house, okay? In its entirety, it's my house. And I have the right to say what I want to eat and when I want to eat it. Don't you dare say what you just said out of your mouth again. Now get your ass in the kitchen and make me pound and yam. Right there. Ah, uh, come, Billy. Oh, we'll come back here. Come back here. Take off my shoes. I said, take off my shoes. You stood for like three seconds. Why? Were you contemplating or what? No, no, sir. Let's do it. Take them upstairs. Take them upstairs. Come on. And uh, make sure you make that pounded there for me to eat now, eh? What a stressful day. Stressful. Stressful.
Hello. Welcome. Ah, did Max get a new maid? A pretty one at that. Beautiful. <laughs> um, ma I'm, I'm Max's wife. Not the maid. Oh. My bad. I'm sorry. I never thought he would go through with it. Uh, how, you're pretty though. Thank you, Ma. Well, how is married life treating you? Uh, it's fine. Is he in? Yes, he's in. Oh, okay, so I'll just go in and... Uh... Oh, he's in here. Oh. Yeah. Hey! Beautiful! How you doing, girl? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Why are you doing that in front of your wife? Come on. Did I hear you say my wife? Mm-hmm. Hey, come on. Come off it. This is the normal way we do it. So, why are you so angry with me all of a sudden? But you're married now. Married? Mm-hmm. To? Sweetheart, come on. I'm not married, okay? This marriage was forced on me. As a matter of fact, you know deep down in your heart that I'm married to no one. Keep talking like that and I will celebrate my decision. For not marrying you. Just come on. It would have been different with you anyway. No, 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 no. Don't even, don't do that with me. It wouldn't have. Hey, it's okay. You look pissed. Shouldn't I be pissed? Anyway, uh, it's too early for this. Why don't you come inside so we'll talk. I want to know how you've been faring. All right? <sighs> How's <it> <laughs> I said, what are you doing on my bed? It's our matrimonial bed now. It's just lying down and waiting for you to come. Ah, uh, what? Did I hear you say our matrimonial bed? There's something wrong with you. This is my bed! Not ours, okay? Now, let me tell you something. You are not my wife. You were sold to me. I paid heavily for you to be here. And that makes you whatever I say you are. And I make it bold to say you are not my wife. You are my servant. You are whatever I say you are. I am your God, your Lord. Okay? God, God, please. Just hope this is not what I'm thinking. Whatever you are thinking does not concern me in any way. Let me make myself clear one more time. You are not my wife. You don't have the right to lie on my bed. No, you don't have the right. Do you know what you are meant for? To service me. I know what that means. It is whenever I am urged, whenever I feel like pleasuring myself, then I'll let you in. The moment I'm done, you are out. Now get the hell out of my room. Out! I don't ever want to see you here again. Nonsense. I'll match you in that bed. You and who is doing match? Are you, are you crazy or what? Hey, Kambili! Kambili! Come here! Lie down there! 
Lie down, spread those legs. This is when you have the right to come to me. I said, come before. I am Alex, um, the lawyer. You remember me? From the wedding. Yes, you're correct. Welcome. Thank you. I actually came to see uh, Max. You can sit down. Let me call him. Oh, he's here. Well, well. <laughs> Who do we have here? Huh? Max. The smart and intelligent barrister Alex. You've come to see if I'm still married, right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not far from that. And um, to also discuss the terms of uh, sharing the properties with excuse you. Excuse me, excuse me. Why is he standing there? Come on, get in the kitchen, get in something to drink, okay? <laughs> Have a seat, okay? Thank you. Yeah. So tell me, Alex, what is happening? Well, uh, the reason I came is that um, there's a particular thing. You are talking like a bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah, right? Right. Jesus! Sorry. 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 It's okay, it's okay. So sorry. What it's the sorry. hell? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's alright. Don't worry, I'll Are you dumb or something? What is wrong with you? Crazy or something? Matt, I said it's okay. It's not okay. Come on, Matt, it's okay. No, don't tell me it's okay. You know how much it cost me to bring to you post this thing from Italy? Do you even have an idea how much a pack of juice costs now? I'm asking you! Matt? I, I, I didn't know that. Shut up! Matt, I said it's okay. It's not okay. No, no, it's okay. It is not okay! I am talking to my wife. Now you listen to me. Listen attentively. You have to be disciplined, okay? Be careful! Don't waste my money! Get out of this place! Sorry, sir. Ah! My mother just intentionally gave me a dump for your wife. Oh, Max. You don't say that about your wife. You don't call her that, Max. And if I do, who's gonna stop me? You? Huh? Who's gonna stop me? You? Huh? My friend, sit down. Sit down there! Let's discuss business. I don't have time for rubbish. What were you saying? Um, hey, 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 listen to me. Before you say any rubbish from your mouth, I want you to put into cognizance the fact that I'm the one paying you. Hmm? Yes. And he who plays the piper, they take the tune. Do I make myself clear? What does this mean? Next time, if you see me talking to my useless wife, huh? do not interfere. If you do, I will not hesitate to send you out to your stupid colleagues out there who wear oversized coats, jumping from tricycles to, to, to motorcycles, looking for, for, for petty things to bear from the cell. Do I make myself clear? I am sorry, Max. I'm all yours. Speak. Well, um. Tears never dry from my eyes. They never leave my bed. What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From pain to another. Every day I am sober. Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery. Why me? Alex. My name is Alex. Okay, sir. Uh, I'm sorry about the other day, okay? I am so sorry. Please. 
But you didn't do anything wrong, sir. I should be the one apologizing. No, no, I should apologize. I mean, I should, you know, I should, I should have kept quiet. Please, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, where are you coming from and where are you going to? Um, I'm coming from the market. I went to buy food stuff, but I'm heading home, sir. You're walking home with, with this? That is the way. Oh, come on, please, get into the car. Let me drop you off. Please. No, sir. Thank you, sir. I would rather check on, sir. Call me, sir, one more time and I'll, I'll start crying for you right now. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, so sorry. can I drop you off, please? Please, I insist. Okay, no problem. Sorry. But you will not take me to our house gate. You just drop me by this street. Anything you want, ma. I'm at your service. Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery. Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me? Tears never dry for my why me? No. Smile never come my way. Why, no. why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me? And what do you think you're doing? Huh? By the way, I just applied powder on my face. Ah. So it has come to this. Huh? You making up? For what? Huh? For who? I'm asking you, who are you making up for? Oh, I see. So, it is in my house that you want to learn prostitution, right? I'm asking you, you want to you you want to go into full time prostitution? So what are you making up for? For who? It's, it's, it's not proper makeup. I just applied white soda. Will you keep your mouth shut? How dare you speak back at me? Who do you think you are? I'm sorry, but please don't forget I'm your wife. I don't know why you're speaking to me like this. See, let me tell you something. I have said it before, and I will say it again. I have the right, the sole right to speak to you however I like. Do you understand? Do I make myself clear? Yes, but what have I done wrong? Please, if I've done anything wrong to you, tell me I'll apologize. If this is not how husband treats wife now, eh? That's if the wife has sense, okay? If you see your stupid self as my wife, you have some sense in that dope skull of yours. Okay? What is wrong with you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here now? Why are you lying down here? What are you doing? What have you done this morning? I... <laughs> I'm, I've done everything I'm supposed to do. I've washed, I've cleaned, I've cooked, I've, I've equally had my shower. And you think that is enough? What would you rather have me do again? It is even more annoying that you don't know what brought you to this house. And if you don't know, I will spell it out to you right here and right now. You are here to serve me. No other person but me, okay? You are here to serve me. I am your Lord. I am your God. You are here to serve no other person but me, okay? But I don't blame you. All you do all day is eat and relax. Eh? You eat, you drink, you do whatever you want to do, and then you, 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 you lie down here like a lazy log of wood. I don't blame you. You are lazy! I'm not lazy. You know I'm not lazy. I have done everything like I said earlier. I have cleaned, I have cooked, I have washed, I have, I have done everything. Okay, what do you want me to do? Now I will tell you what you haven't done. Okay? Now before the count of five, get your lazy ass up and serve my friends some food. Okay? I want you to always remember this. I am your Lord. I am your God. After you pray to God Almighty every morning and night, the next person you should pray to is me. You pray in my name. Pray in Master's name. Do I make myself clear? Get your lazy ass up and go serve my friend some food. Before the count of five. One, two, three. Rubbish. You have the cause to talk to me. You don't ever Why me? Oh.
Why me? Oh, why me now? Tears never dry for my face. Why me now? Smile never gone my why face. Have you washed my clothes? Sorry. I was waiting to speak to you about it. Please. I'm not feeling too well. My head aches. Could you please teach me how to use the washing machine so I can use it to wash the clothes for you? At least for today. I'm not strong at You not feeling well is no news to me. The question is, are you also mad? Hmm? Because I have said this to you before. I don't like my clothes being washed in the machine. Are you here asking me silly questions? I'm not feeling fine. Please. My body is shaking. Please. Let me make this clear to you. From Sunday through Saturday, it is work, work, work. No day off. Do I make myself clear? You must work round the clock. That is why you're here. Now make yourself useful. I've not told you this before. Please, I'm your wife. Please, let me just rest and get myself small. Who can wash the clothes for me? Please. I see. I am becoming too lenient with you. I'll be back. Thank you for your understanding. I have come to realize that of all the privileges we enjoy under my roof. I am going to remind you of one this very moment. The privilege I gave you to wear whatever you want to wear in this house has come to an end. Yes. Look at you. I'm very sure you don't even know what brought you to this house. And I will make it clear to you right now. You are nothing. Absolutely nothing. But a maid, a dirty, stinky maid, and that is what you are, and nothing changes. From today onwards, wearing whatever you like in my house is prohibited. What is in your hands belongs to my former maid. You are to wear this every day in this house, morning. Noon and night. If I set my eyes on you not wearing this uniform in this house, I will kill you with my bare hands. You call yourself my wife. Calling yourself my wife is like a goat calling a lion a husband. I will eat you without no choice. Try me. I will eat you without no choice. I am your God. I am your Lord. Put on that uniform and make yourself useful right now. Do I make myself clear? Don't pass. Tears never dry from my eye. Pain never leave my bed. What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From pain to another, every day I am sob. Is this the way I am gonna How is my treating you? It's good, okay, I guess. I hope Camille's been a good wife to you. Camille, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> enough, enough. Get inside, go and get us something to eat. So how is business going? Oh, well, business is 
going very well, Mother. I'm glad to announce to you, Mother, that I just landed a big contract that will give us more money. Wow. Yes. Quite impressive. I am super proud of you. Thank you very much, Mother. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I'm too hungry now. Can't believe it's this girl now. You are too slow. Don't talk to her like that. Call her calmly. I saw the way you spoke to her earlier. Why? She's your wife. Oh, mother, come on. What are you insinuating? Eh? Let your son breathe. Uh, do you think I'm maltreating her? If I'm maltreating her, we she be looking this chubby. Why is she putting on that maid's uniform? She's your wife. There you go again, mother. I have to hold you severally. Stop bothering yourself over relevant things. Eh? See, she likes it that way. We understand ourselves. I'm trying to I'm just trying to groom her. Eh? You want to spoil her for me? I'm not sure. Oh, no. Listen, I don't want you to maltreat her. Treat her nicely. As, like I said earlier, she's your wife. Treat her with a lot of respect. So that other people that will see you with her will respect her as well. Okay, I'll try my best. It's okay. Nice. Where is this girl? I can't believe you are too slow for my life. You are too sluggish. Where's the food? Calm down now. She's bringing the food. But she's quite timid. Maybe it's her long years of uh, servitude. Have you noticed? Thank God you are saying what I'm saying. Very timid and weird. I don't even know the bush I bought her from. Don't treat her like that. At least you should be good to have some last night. It's okay, mother. I'll try. I'll try. I'm really thank you for the food. My food is served. Mother. Come, let's do a bit. Even you. No, I would rather eat in the kitchen. Why? You made the food, come let's eat. No, I mean, I have something else I'm doing in the kitchen. Mother, let's go and eat. Come on, let's go. Thank you. 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 I dodged a bullet when I refused your proposal. You know what, Maria? Mm. I was down, you know, and I needed you by my side. But you, you turned me down, you know? And talking about missing a bullet. You miss a good one. Good one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you? A good one? What a laugh. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, spend money. Mm. Of course, I said I was going to give it to you, all right? Come on. But I want the card right now. You're not even drinking. You're not sipped from your glass. Come on, let's go. Well, I'm not sipping because I don't know how cheap the wine is. Because you're stingy. Ah, <laughs> uh, the card. Yeah, I know you're joking. Anyway, I've done one of this before. Really? And you know it. I'll be right back. 